Good morning, everybody. All right. Got my glasses on so I can read the chat. Oh, we got 10 people. That was quick. Notifications must be working this morning. And how is everybody this morning? I'm really tired, I'll tell you right now. Hello, Samuel. Gani. My, uh, um, my celebratory uh, uh, takeout food I had last night was a big mistake. I, uh, I, 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 after I got everything done, I placed, I phoned the order in at quarter to 10. They told me it was going to be a half an hour. Got here at quarter to 12 last night. I wanted to be in bed like at 10.30. Not waiting for food at quarter to 12 at night. So I'm so tired. And then at 2 a.m., the fox was in the area, but he didn't come close to the pen. He woke me up. Doug was looking out the window, but he wasn't uh, strung right out. I put Doug in the front room, got my house coat on, got the rifle locked and loaded, took the safety off, and I was sitting on the uh, edge of the bed. Uh, and uh, I sat there for about 15 minutes. The ducks were out the front of the pen. That was about 2 a.m. And uh, then uh, I just sat there and waited and waited and waited, and uh, no sign of the fox. Doug uh, wasn't barking. The, the, the ducks weren't freaking and peeking. So uh, I gave up and went to bed. So that, that wore me out a little bit in the middle of the night. But I, I really wish I could have got the fox last night, so I'm, I'm worried about that. So, but the ducks are getting out here. I just got some work to do, and then we're going to let the ducks out like early this morning. I'm hoping I'll get them out by 9, 9.30. Uh, but I've got to take care of some, uh, some of my, my normal social media stuff for the uh, yesterday's uh, streams. Unfortunately, none of the, uh, the epic shooting uh, was really caught on the uh, on video. Nothing. Absolutely terrible shit. Terrible filming yesterday. All my fault because I was uh, I uh, I dropped the ball and and I didn't put the cameras on tripods. I'm paying for it now. I lost all the footage. So, anyways, live and learn, eh? You cut corners and uh, and I should know better. Like I really, guys, I should know better after doing this for this many years. You know, I've been doing this for you know for four years. Uh, you know, when it comes to animals, and it's like you know, never cut corners when it comes to you know doing the uh, the filming. Because Mother Nature always delivers when you're not ready. Always. Always. It's just, it's just the way it works. I don't under, you know, understand why. I, 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 I think it's just because I was just tired and it was the end of the day. It was 4.30 and I thought, you know, I'll just put the garbage cans out. And I should have put the tripods out. Today will be tripod day. I'm going to get the tripods out because it's like this is uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. Plus i got to fix the garbage cans so that that doesn't, if I ever cut the corner again... I, I, that's not going to happen. But I'm so mad because if I would have had, uh, you know, the tripods properly set up, I would have got all that footage yesterday. You would have seen the coyote get smoked because I, I had the camera originally pointed at the area where the coyote got smoked because I had the two cameras set up like yesterday on the, on the creek and I had the creek divided perfect. It was like one camera was covering one end of the creek and they overlapped at the, at the target and the other camera covered the other part of the creek and it was like it was all covered. And uh, unfortunately, that whole stream actually should just be deleted. It was uh, it was bad. Kelly, the, the the reason I beat myself up is because I, I I lost some awesome footage, like epic stuff, guys. The most probably some of the most epic footage on YouTube live, you know. You know that that's what I'm mad about it because I I know better. I know better when it comes to filming. Like that's why, that's why I share. You know, that's why I do all this tech stuff with you and show you guys everything. Like what's involved, because this is what's involved to capture epic animal stuff. This is the work is involved. Uh, you know, with all the cameras and that. You know, you guys get to see. You know, uh, you know all this. You know, the stuff the winers complain about the. You know, sharing all the background stuff because this year is sort of like behind the scenes and the ducks all at once have meshed together with this live stream. Basically, is what's happened. It's an all-in-one show. It's not just, you know, the edited what happens here, you know, show anymore. It's like, this is what it takes to be this show, you know. So, this is what the live stream has become, which is sort of neat. 
it's an all-in-one, you know, there's no, there's no behind-the-scenes footage here because you're watching it every day as it unfolds. Oh. But the, the most important part is there's a coyote with a whole bunch of his brains that came out the backside of his head. And, and the little duck was still alive in his, in his mouth. And that's another thing I'm mad about. If I would have had a camera running, but I thought I was going to be shooting some more. Because I'm telling you guys, it was such an awesome feeling when I pulled that little duck out of his mouth. And he, and he, and he ran across the, uh, the, the mud and jumped into the creek. Which, if I would have had the other camera on a tripod, you would have seen the little duck run across and jump in the creek and swim down the creek. But anyways, it was, uh, I saved the duck's life. That was so awesome. Like, so awesome. Um, I like, it's like uh, that, that part blows me away that the little duck, you know, we lost one little duck at the beginning there when I was stupid on the, you know, playing on the iPhone, looking for that app. And then, uh, and then I saved a little duck. So it was pretty cool. And, and the, the reign of terror, which honestly, guys, I think that coyote was the coyote that I've been seeing this spring that I thought it was three coyotes just because of his coloring, because from each side, he looks like a different, different dog. Like, I know for a fact that white spot on the side of him, the big gray patch, is the one that I saw hunting the Canada geese and this spring multiple times because he, it was his left side, and every time I saw him, he'd be going across the swamp, and I could see this big white patch, and I thought, you know, the tricolor, you know, the, what kind of coyote was he with the tricolor, and it's just, it was just a, a light gray on his side, and then the other side of him is brown, which the time that I saw him uh, with, actually when Jasmine was here, and I saw him dart into the uh, the bulrushes. I saw his right side, and his right side was light brown. And that's why I thought, you know, that was him. And then there's the footage of him when he was chasing the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, when he had the live stream and he was chasing the ducks there when Jasmine was here cutting. And Jean-Pierre, uh, the front of him has a dark color to him. And that was, you know, I, I'm thinking it's the same guy. You know, I, I, I really do. I think it's the same coyote. Uh, because usually that's the way it happens. And then you usually, when we kill them like this, is that we usually get a reprieve, you know, we get like a good month of nothing here, you know, and nothing else will move in. And the fact that he was 45.2 pounds, that's a big, big coyote. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, it's a, a male that would be territorial. So, anyways, that's uh that's what I'm thinking. But uh, with the fox, I'm so mad. The fox is still out running around. I just don't believe that he didn't come by last night. Is the chat working this morning? Because guys, okay, now the chat just appeared. You know, this whole time you guys have been chatting and uh, I haven't seen a single chat. YouTube app, eh? Now the chat's appeared. Good morning, Inga. This is the first time I've seen your comment. Something wrong. YouTube is broken all the time, it seems, this year. I think it's because of the live, eh? I think it's the live. is the uh, Because YouTube's got glitches they're just not aware of yet. Like right now, the new thing that just started this morning, guys, I'm just looking here on the screen, is every time you chat now, the little blue arrow jumps up and down in the chat and rolls. It's, then that has never happened before. It's like, but I think it's the, I think it's because you know what it is, guys? It's, this is new. You know, this live streaming thing, this is new. Like this isn't, this isn't like something that's been around for 10 years. This is, this is brand new stuff. You guys are doing something that you'll look back at years from now and you'll be saying, I remember watching this crazy duck show live. This guy did it for a whole summer. Well, actually, it's going to be a lot longer in the summer because we're going to continue this right through. This because the Duck Adventure is now officially live. Uh, I'm not going to be doing videos uh, <laughs> unless I absolutely have to. Um, I, I'm, I'm enjoying the live much better, sharing everything as it happens. I think it's much more exciting. I think it is anyway. Some people, you know, still whine, but I really don't care about their opinion because I know you people like it. That's the important part. And the people who watch the video archive after the live within minutes of it you know, happening, it's like you can't get much more on you know, as it happens. So, live is better, Jasmine. I know, it's so cool. It's like, as it's how you can't, you, this is like the ultimate reality show. But I'm thinking the problem is, is because 
the uh, YouTube, this is so new, guys, because remember I told you like YouTube just is really pushing the live thing? It's because this, they've had live for a lot of years, but they've never had live, like, you know, the, 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 a lot of people who did it, you know, it was like event type thing, not a daily vlog. And I think we're discovering all the uh, the bugs because we're just doing so much of it and every every single day. I think that's what it is. It's just new. We're just we're just the, the, the pioneers on this technology front. I know it's a hell of a learning curve, I can tell you that much. You got a notification for this strawberry? Only ten minutes into it. See new YouTube is broke so broken, eh? But you know, guys, honestly, if you follow on Twitter, because I'm I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna check something because I know when I go live. Let's just check something here because I'm curious. I know if I go live through YouTube on the browser, uh, it automatically tweets to Twitter, but I don't know if it does through the mobile app. So let me just take a look. I'm, I'm curious because this app, this if it is, this stream. All right, so what, do, did I just tweet? No, it doesn't. So the mobile app doesn't tweet on, uh, Oh, that's strange. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. It only does. I don't believe this. So when I do the mobile app, it doesn't tweet. But it does, if I do, if I do a stream through the YouTube uh, uh, site itself, when I, with the, like the, when I do it with the... the um, uh, like when I set the garbage cans up and things like that, then it tweets. Yeah, well, it's, sorry, I can't. I don't know how to fix this. I can. I'm only one man. I can only do so much. But this morning, all the uh, chat that's coming through, little blue arrow keeps popping up every time you guys have a chat, which has never happened before. So they've changed something. Oh. But no Fox last night. I'm not too happy about that. I, I was up 2 a.m. sitting there. Ducks weren't a little bit strung out. They weren't too whacked out, but you know they were a little bit strung out. And Doug wasn't excited, so it wasn't close. So I don't know. It, 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 it didn't happen. I was really hoping it was going to happen. Trust me. Do I know the Fox? No, I don't know him that well. I don't think he's causing me a lot of problems. Oh, yeah, the killdeers, eh? They're just, they drive Doug nuts. Oh, man, it's crazy. The uh, Doug last night, he was making me mad. He was, because what the thing is, is that the reason he makes me mad is because he hurts himself chasing the killdeers because the killdeers are setting off and he's thinking that something's here. And then he does all this unnecessary running, and last night his shoulder was sore, and it was strictly from running around in the swamp with the killdeers. Thank you, Digger Pete. Honestly, I think it's my best shot I've ever done. Best shot I've ever done. I've done some pretty good shots in my life, but that one yesterday, I think it, it, it uh, I, I wish I could, I'm so mad I didn't, I didn't catch it on film. Anyways, what, I, I will have to say that I, I don't think I've ever pulled off a shot so amazing. To time it to save the duck's life. To pull the duck alive with no marks out of the, the coyote's mouth, man. The timing to pull a, you know, to, because the coyote, as soon as they grab something, they instantly squeeze down and it's like they, they don't run around with a live thing in their mouth. They, they, they crunch down pretty hard at the beginning and because they're young ducks, they pretty well die in their mouth right away. So, you know, to, to, to smoke him like that before he could crunch down on the little duck. No, Budgie Breeder, it was one single shot in the head. The other two shots uh, I missed it was the first shot. Jasmine, milliseconds. It was actually probably instant, uh, like duck, clamp down, shot hits, that type of thing. You know, he was still clamping down when I took the shot. I just know that, you know, when I, it was like, I didn't, I didn't think, I, I just reacted. I saw the brown flash and squeezed the trigger. 
Gene, it, that's right, it, was, it, 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 it counted. It was the shot that counted. It was awesome. I'm so happy you're gone. I'm so happy I saved that little duck though. Oh man, when I walked up and I, he was laying there and the little duck was sticking out of his mouth and, and the tail and the tail feathers were wagging. And, and his, the thing was, the little duck was drowning eh, because his head was under the mud uh, because the coyote's head was laying on top of him. And I pulled his foot and he just like took off across the mud and then jumped into the creek and swam to the other ducks. It was like, man, that was so sweet. It was like the, it was like the cherry on top of everything, you know? Oh, anyways, but Mr. Coyote's gone now. He's gone to the Coyote graveyard. Oh, he's history. So now he's got to worry about the fox. No, the duck learned nothing for it, nothing. But I'm so uh, glad that he was a stupid duck and that he, he walked down the creek like that uh, and, and baited the uh, because he was baiting he baited the uh, coyote out he, he took one for the team guys that that little duck not knowing uh, what he was doing he took one for the team and I knew when I saw him going down the creek by himself that this duck is going to get this is it this is my chance uh, and uh, I was right I was dead right on that one actually thankfully I focused thankfully I focused because I didn't focus before and I, I missed, you know, uh, and, and I was playing with a stupid freaking smartphone. I really missed that time, but um, it was, uh, I am so happy I didn't drop the ball at the end. Uh, Allison, the, Allison uh, or, uh, uh, that is uh, the, the garbage can. Garbage can's getting fixed today. When I move the cameras to the tripod, I got to bring the garbage cans back to the garage and I got to modify them. Because I made a one inch modification on the bracket, which backfired. Uh, the foam is pushing against the back of the camera bracket. And that is causing the problem that I can't angle the camera the right way. Um, so I've got to fix that today. I'm going to be moving the bracket back one inch, uh, uh, back to my original setting. And uh, then I will, I will never have that problem again. But that was the problem yesterday. Is I, I aimed the cameras, then I left, and then the foam was pushing against the back of the bracket, and just that the, 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 the force of the foam slowly kept pushing the camera forward and pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down, and the next thing you know, it was just staring at the mud for like, I don't know how long, but way too long, and we missed everything. Oh, but it's, I'm very happy today. Not as happy as I was last night, but I'm very happy. I actually would have told him about the camera. I wouldn't have. I would have just left it because I would. Have, uh, I was just focusing on the. Uh, I actually couldn't have told me about Jasmine because I threw the uh, the smartphone down and and and, uh, and focused. I was so mad at myself there. You can't you can't play with technology when you're supposed to be doing that. So. You can't. I'm surprised the can of geese aren't in the yard this morning. I thought for sure with the coyote gone, they would be uh, in the yard. But we got to get rid of that fox. He's got to go. I'm so mad that he didn't show up last night. I was ready. Spray painted all the posts so I knew exactly where the electric fence is so I didn't actually shoot it, accidentally shoot it. But he'll come again. He'll be here again. He's been showing up consistently at night, so... It's just a matter of time before he shows up again, and I'll send Mr. Land to meet him. I've got the rifle scoped right in for that range. He'll he, uh, in the one in the bedroom. He'll he'll be in for a big surprise, man. Big surprise. Actually, the next shooting will be me running around the yard uh, two, three in the morning yelling yippee ki -yay. and uh, everybody it was after a big gunshot and everybody will be like who's ever watching the stream in the middle of the night knows that will know something happened and I'm, I know I'll probably be uh, me turning on a, a, you know the the, uh, the the camera and running around in the dark showing you I just shot a fox but it's been uh, but I'm so happy the ducks are getting out today anyways I'm going to wrap this up, guys. I gotta get some breakfast into me, 
because today is going to be a, uh, a busy day outside. It's going to be a long day uh, because we know the ducks are going to stay out till like 9.30, quarter to 10. i got to plan my day out. I don't know what's going to happen here. I'm going to probably do some GoPro on the head deal. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go down. Uh, I know I have to go to the lake today and i got to put a bracket in the boat so that I can have the camera with me in the boat and I can just slide the, the camera into the bracket so that I can have my hands free in the boat. There's a bunch of stuff I gotta do tonight. Fix the garbage pails. Just a lot of stuff. But the ducks are getting out, and I gotta figure out how to uh, set some. Oh, dragonfly. Uh, set up uh, the camera so they keep ducks in the action. So it's gonna be a real trick there. But it's gonna be tripod day for the cameras. So I don't know how we're gonna how it's gonna happen. I'm gonna be. It's gonna be a busy day. Me running around with cameras with the ducks. And it's a nice sunny day. Not a, no clouds. So it should be pretty good. Should be. It's gonna be it's gonna be a, a, a non-stop day for Matt. I'll tell you that right now. So I gotta get uh, uh, some food into me, and because once I go outside, I'm gonna be outside all day. If I would have had a building big enough, I could have done 2K, but I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> um, because of just now that I know what's involved with the live stream. The live stream uh, is the live streaming learning curve, guys, that, uh, and, the, and the rain. Uh, the, the, I, I, after this, this is the worst weather conditions you could ask for to live stream outside. And uh, like the worst. What we've just been put through here the last uh, seven and a half weeks outside, you couldn't ask for a more nasty learning curve. Like everything, yeah, exactly. The lightning strike, Jasmine. You know that was. You know we had everything that could imagine to go wrong here. You know nonstop rain, lightning. You know uh, learning curve, setting cameras up, tech, all that stuff. You know this, this is this this learning curve will not be repeated. Uh, I I will be. Uh, I I'm yeah, that's right, Doug. I'm a live stream pioneer, and uh, you know it will be. It's easier from this point on. It can only get easier. It like it's like it's like I'm trying to think, like no matter what breaks, I know how to fix it. It's not like it's like oh, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? It's just like I'm. It's just going to be oh, I got to do this. I do got to do that. It's like it's just like you you know. It, it, I know why people don't live stream. I can tell you right now. Oh. Okay, what was that here? I could wear my glasses. I have the camera. And then upload the footage after the fact. Budget Breeder, you're you're not paying attention here. I, I, I this is a live stream channel. I, I don't I don't I'm not doing videos. You just do you not grasp on that, Budget Breeder. I'm I'm I if I have you, if it involves editing, it ain't gonna happen. Like right now, guys, you don't remember the fox that showed up there last week? I've had this on my computer. For like how long? I'm trying to think. It's been two weeks, three, two and a half weeks, and I I can't rustle rustle up the time to 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 get it into a video to upload it. Like that's how tapped I am, guys. You just don't understand. You keep you know coming up with these you know these extra things for me to do, and if you don't see how busy I am, I don't know what channel you're watching. Like I I'm like I'm I've had this video like. I, I want to edit that the the fox killing the ducks and me shooting at it and missing it and the whole thing and I, I have no time. It's like it's like you guys don't understand. I don't know why you do. I have a forty eight hour day and you have a twenty four hour day. Is that how it works? Or there's I have a support staff of people here that I'm not showing you. It's like plus I got to take care of the ducks. You guys are unreasonable some days. Jasmine, I've got the fox footage. I've got it all on my computer. I've, I've already done a partial edit and chopped it down. And it, it's like, it's still, I got hours to sit in front of a computer, just sit there and, and try to edit it down. You guys don't understand, like I probably have, that little footage there is only gonna be like five minutes long. 
by the time I edit it all down, but there's like something like, I'm thinking, what was it, 17 hours of footage I have to go through to find the spots of the five minutes that I need out of the 17 hours. Do you know what it's like to find in an editing software the five minutes you need out of like 11, 12 hours of footage? It's, it's, you guys don't understand. You really don't. Unless you've done it, you don't. It's not possible. But you can't put time codes in after the fact. This is raw footage downloaded off of YouTube. You, you, there's no time codes, guys. You just don't understand. Like, like it's like, this isn't, you know, like TV. You know, your TV, when they record, they can put time codes in while they're recording, but that's in the camera. They can actually put the time code in the camera and it is like it's high tech stuff, guys. It has to happen as you're recording. This is not after you go to YouTube and you download the, the download the video raw file of the stream, and then you're like, there's no time codes. It's just 11 hours of footage. Good luck trying to find it. You people don't understand. Everybody's got these you know uh, crazy ideas. It's like it's frustrating as hell listening to some of the people. I'm telling you, it is. I want to, that's a gene. I've got the footage. Three, it's actually three different streams, no, four different streams that I got to edit down to a five minute video to show the fox. Oh, Jasmine, it'll be a winter project. I've got it like it will, unless my computer crashes and I lose all the software and I got to start over. And then I don't know, I don't even know what day it will be. It'll be a blur. It'll be just lost. It's not the end of the world. Okay, budget reader. Are you, you okay? Budget reader, you're starting to make me upset here. You can't put time codes in a raw file you download from YouTube. Last time I'm telling you this. How about you try this? Try download a YouTube video and tell me where the time codes are. Try it. I've done this before. I had a TV crew here, okay guys? A real TV crew with the big $50,000 cameras and the remote units and they put the time codes in as they do it. Oh, your editing app can do it. Budgie Breeder, okay, you're really making me mad now here. You can't, oh man, oh man. For a mod, you're really sending me over the edge here, Budgie Breeder, I'm telling you, you're ruining my morning. You can't put time codes Download 11 hours of raw stream and you tell me where the time codes are, budget breeder. There is none. It's a raw file. It's 11 hours. 11 hours of footage. You got to take your little scroll bar and you got to go through and find when this stuff happens. Unbelievable. But your software magically can go back in time and know when it was recorded and put the GMT time and you'd be no problem. You can find the spot. You guys have no clue on editing. It's like keyboard warrior editors. I'm having duck eggs for breakfast with hash browns and bacon this morning. I'm gonna have a real breakfast because today is gonna to be, um, <laughs> I'm losing it, yeah I am. I'm losing it over these people telling me about how, it's like how to do this stuff. Digger. It's just, I'm trying to get the point across. It's, it's like, I'm just trying to get the point across. It's like, I know what I'm doing here. It's just, it doesn't work. I like to click on these people channels and see what kind of videos they have up to see what kind of professionalism and, and experience they have in this area. I've only got a couple thousand videos. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I've only spent thousands and thousands and thousands of hours editing. But I don't know. Then I've downloaded these 11 hour streams and started going through them and trying to find these alleged time stamps. And, you know, when I know it's 2.40 in the afternoon that uh, the fox appeared, and I couldn't find them at 2.40 in the afternoon because there was no clock in the 11 hour stream to tell me when 2.40 in the afternoon was. Yes, I used to own a video store. 
in my previous life and now I produce videos The, the, they they they've gone to uh, they they're they're gone to their graveyards off the property. Their history. They don't I don't keep them here. They were they got disposed of last night. Gone. Oh, I don't think they're going to thumbs up the video this morning, guys, because I'm grumpy because I have to explain things ten times over. Dougie's sleeping um, in the uh, the living room. He was so cuddly this morning. I didn't want to get up because I was so tired. I should eat a coyote? Are you crazy, man? I'm not going to eat a coyote. Some people, man, roast up the coyote. I had someone tell me that. A fence to ward off others. Oh, you use a fence. Yeah, I can't use a fence. I'm allowed to be grumpy, Gene? Well, it's more frustration trying to explain something because it's like these people on the other end of the keyboard, they know. I don't. If the world ended, yeah, I'd be eating a coyote, but I don't have to. I got a, I got, a, I got three freezers that's worth of food here. I, I'm not going to I'm not going to eat ditch food. They're baiting me? <laughs> Well, Doug, some people can't handle a grumpy. I'm in a really good mood as long as I don't have to try to fix stupid, you know? Why won't you follow Coyote and kill it? I did kill it, but I didn't have to follow it. The fox, I don't know where he was last night. I waited for him. Life is stupid. No, life is great, man. Life is what you make it. I'm loving it. I love this sharing it. I love sharing the grumpy part, too. It's an annoying phrase, too. <laughs> you guys don't know what it's like. i got to share something with you, you know? Like, you're, you're sitting there on your keyboard, and you don't know what this is like. To sit here live and share your life live. I would love to see some of you people try this and, and see uh, if anybody gets underneath your skin. Because, you know, there's the whole, the whole world's like, you know, like the old saying, you can choose your friends and you're stuck with your family, okay? Well, YouTube, you don't get to choose your friends. You know, they come to you and you either accept them or, or not, you know what I mean? And uh, it's like, it, 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 you know, you get people that just come into your life just to annoy you on YouTube. Or they're just really stupid, you know, and they're really stupid ones. And then you try to explain, 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 explain. It's like, no matter how you explain it, they're just sitting there, you know, with the, the, the I, I refer to it as the, you know, staring at the headlights uh, look, uh, you know, like you're just, I don't get it. You know what I mean? And what are you an instructor of, Plasma? Oh, I'm going to keep doing it my way, guys. Grumpy and all. Like when you send me over the edge and I'd be grumpy. This is real life, man. I'm a nice guy, but... I, I, you know, I, some days I just got to just to put my foot down and tell you what I think. Or I could just get a bag of sugar and we could walk around sugarcoat it all. But that wouldn't be really me. So. Oh, you're an instructor of computer software. Well, that's a pretty big field of expertise. Like all kinds of super software. Budget Breeder, you didn't offend me. It says that you download an 11 hour video and you tell me where 2.40 Eastern Standard Time is in this timestamp. You allegedly say that your software will plug in. Is it connected to some GPS that it knows when it was filmed? It's not possible, man. It's a raw video file. You gotta scroll through it and find 2.40 p.m. when the fox appeared. No. 16.7 gigs is how big the file was. Massive, massive MPEG-4 file. I couldn't believe the size of it.
And when I and, and you and you like even with my thirty inch monitor, the timeline was unbelievable. I, I you couldn't. It was like. And the thing is, is when it's compressed and you slide your mouse really fast, so you got to spread it out, and then you got to take your mouse and go across and try to find when in the afternoon this all went down. Oh man, you're sitting there with your mouse going across, and you're watching everything in super speed, trying to figure out where it was, and then you jump over it because you're going too fast with your mouse, and you jump over when the fox darts out, darts back, and you got to go back because you thought you saw it and it wasn't there, and that wasn't the time. So basically, you just keep going, do a little bit, make sure it's gone, edit that out, get rid of it, and you just got to keep chopping the footage off until you come to the spot so you don't accidentally scroll by it twice and oh man I'm telling you it's brutal 11 hours of mouse scrolling it's interesting but I, I don't enjoy it and that's why the Fox video uh, of me that day is going to take a while before it comes up Annie what I did yesterday was just unbelievable actually I can't believe I can't believe that I smoked uh, uh, that coyote with the duck in his mouth yeah the, the footage shows the hours and minutes it does yeah but the problem is I don't know what time it started that's the problem YouTube doesn't tell you the time your stream your, your, uh, your stream starts so like you, you don't know what time you started it. It's like if you knew the start time of the stream and then, you know, the hours and minutes, you could, you know, get to the approximate point. But the problem with YouTube, you, it doesn't tell you the time that the stream started. And I don't know what time because I go into uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the event and it doesn't show me the time. Of what time it started and then when it gets converted to a video after the event is over it just shows that it was you know streamed seven hours ago or on the and actually after the 24 hour mark it just says it was streamed on a date it doesn't even tell you that the the, uh, the time of the day it was started you lose all the critical information that would make it easier to find when the fox showed up I'm not assigning video uh, uh, editing to anybody but me. I'm I'm drinking coffee. That's what this is, a coffee mug. I'm getting my caffeine so I can de-grump. I'm starting to wake up. I'm starting to get motivated here. To get the ducks outside, get things happening, get the cameras going, get all happy, get a bag of sugar out, and we're just going to, you know... Uh, uh, sugarcoat the day. It's going to be a good day. <laughs> well, tell your son I did see him. I'll wave back. Hi, Ford son. What kind of coffee? D grumps. It's just a uh, uh, dark roasted uh, President's Choice. Nothing special. He can see me. He saw me. I'm trying to do the best job possible, guys. Do you want to see the can? I'll show you the can, Gene, just so that you know. So you don't buy the wrong one. It's really strong. Where is can? This, this is not a commercial, but it is an endorsement because it is uh, it is uh, really good coffee. I used to, I actually, you know, guys, I used to actually fly coffee in from Colombia. Um, actually, I used to do that. I used to bring in when he's going to holidays. I used to bring home uh, forty kilos in my suitcase. Uh, now that was an experience. Come come from Colombia on holidays with a suitcase with 40 kilos in two suitcases uh, worth of coffee. You want to talk about customs taking a look at you? Uh, because we know what people hide in coffee. So this here is uh, the closest I have ever come to to real Colombian dark coffee. Okay? So there you go. Available in Canada. I, I recommend this. I don't know where it's from, uh, but or what country of origin it is, but I just know one thing. It's strong. 
and strong and tasty. So if you're in Canada, I recommend that brand. Yeah, it's really fine grind. So I recommend it. If you, it's got it's strong. I'll warn you now. It take the paint right off a of car hood. She's a she's paint peeler. Why go to Colombia for holidays? Colombia's a beautiful country. Beautiful people. Cheap and safe. Contrary to what everybody says. Gone many times. Many, many, many times. Tim Hortons, that's not even coffee. It's some kind of chemical thing. I don't know. What did you do? I didn't do anything wrong. I shot a coyote yesterday. I, I didn't get that. I don't understand that comment. What did I do in Colombia? Holidays. No, no duck egg. I gotta make duck egg pancakes. What I gotta do? I just gotta find the time to do it. I just gotta find the time to do it. I really wish I had some duck egg pancakes with maple syrup right now. It would really hit the spot. Forty kilos of coffee. I I drink it. That's what I would do. I would uh, would be my 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 supply of coffee. It's eight thirty four a.m. in Canada right now. Hospital ducks. I'm thinking hospital ducks. I'm going to give them the whole barn. Getting too many of them. I'm just going to take that little divider down and let them have the whole barn and make it a lot easier taking care of them too. That's going to. I think that's going to happen today. I don't like them in that corner. Give them some more room. They're all injury victims from the stampedes at night because of the fox. All of them. Every one of them. All of them. That's the deal. No, no, there's not sickness. It's hurt. They're all hurt. They'll get better, though. They just need a break. Some, you know, and, and the healing time. And so. They can move around, Shadow Star. Uh, it's just, it's a lot easier for me to take care of them. And the other ducks don't need the barn. They honestly don't. Okay, we got somebody asking about clocks and the camera. Somebody's back to the timestamps again. Let's go back to that. Let's drag up that one again. <laughs> we know how that makes Matt in a good mood on his stream, eh? Unbelievable. Um, I'm not going to adopt out the hospital ducks. I'm just going to make them better and put them back with the flock. As soon as I get rid of this fox, the stampedes will stop at night. And everything will be calm and quiet here and, and peaceful. That's the plan. So... Actually, it is two and a half cups of, of, of uh, coffee this morning. It's hard to feed ducks. They're scary. Ducks aren't scary. Yeah. Oh, Tom, the takeout. Oh, it was so bad. I ordered at quarter to ten last night, Tom. Okay? And normally it's a half an hour, 25 minutes. It's sitting here at my house. Quarter to 12 last night, they showed up with the food. I was so tired. I phoned them and I said, what's going on? Oh, we're just cooking it right now. It's coming. I was like, what? It's been over an hour. I wanted to go to bed. I was. It, it took me. I was sitting on the couch waiting for the food and I was like almost falling asleep. I was like, I could fall asleep here right now. Like I was waiting. And then they phoned me. This is the best, okay? At quarter to 12, they phoned. We're one minute away. Can you open the gate for us? I'm like, I'm not going to walk 500 feet out to their highway to open the gate. Get out of your car and open the gate. Then they show up here, and it's the husband and wife in the car. The passenger could have got out and opened the gate, but they wanted me to come out and open the gate for them. Oh, it's dark. Well, it's dark at 9 o'clock when you come here, too. And the thing is, there's, there's little LED lights out there on the gate that a motion sensor that somebody sent to me last year, actually, that light the gate up. Like, it's not even dark. And there's the radio station across the road with their big uh, neon sign or their fluorescent sign they have that lights up the whole highway. It's not even dark out there. It's like, I just couldn't believe it. Can you phone me to open the gate? Me walk 500 feet, but you can't get out of your vehicle and walk six feet. And then plus, you know, quarter to 12, man. I was so tired. So I woofed down and went to bed. Actually, Jasmine, I didn't tip them because it was, an, I, I ordered at quarter to 10 
and they got here at quarter to 12, two hours. If they would have told me they were that busy, I would have went to bed early and not ordered food. And I would just, I, honestly, I could have been, I, I would have went to bed at 10 o'clock last night, hungry. I would, have, I would have been better off. I wouldn't have been so grumpy this morning on the stream, taking people's heads off over timestamps. The food was awesome, though. Chinese food is the only safe thing to eat. Everything else in this town, you get poisoned. All the pizza shops are dangerous. I've, I've been poisoned by two pizza shops. I don't go the pizza. I don't trust the pizza shops. Bad luck with the pizza shops in this town. Actually, three pizza shops have given me problems. Two gave me food poisoning, and one just made me sick. That's why I'm grumpy this morning, Ethan. Is because I was forced to stay up to quarter to twelve waiting for Chinese food. Because I was celebrating a great day. Homemade pizza is great, Gene. But you know, at the end of my day, homemade anything is hard. I'm this is live streaming this year. I got no time. So what I've actually done today, I've sat here drank coffee, chatting to you. Actually, my fortune cookie was actually good. What what did they say last night? Uh, there was an exciting trip coming. And uh, uh, an exciting trip is on its way, and something uh, there was something else that was good. It was good, but I can't see a trip happening because I'm pretty well stuck here with the ducks. What's on my shirt? Fifty ducks in a hot tub. You need one of these. See, that's my shirt. You need to order one. Links below. Homemade bread's the best. Actually, I make some killer bread. I've I've made some. I've got a. Oh, I got some. That's another thing I like to do is my homemade. I make some crazy good bread. Because I use duck eggs in my bread. Oh man, it's wicked. Maybe my trip is a boat ride on the lake, possibly, and bringing you along on the stream. I have I have different. I have cheese bread, which is just to die for. I have uh, breakfast bread, which is just unbelievable. Uh, I, I really crave it a lot, but it's a big job to make. Uh, and then uh, I have another one, which is uh, uh, cheese and jalapeno bread. I don't like plain, plain bread. But it's a big job. They're, they're big recipes to do. All whole wheat. Actually, my breakfast bread is really wicked. It's uh, they're they're like a meal in itself. A couple of those hundred gram buns and look out, you're good till like afternoon. Yeah, garden's completely planted, Zach. There's a there's a playlist uh, on my channel. You can watch the the garden. It's totally done. I, I, someone typed a long comment and I, I missed it. Yeah, YouTube broken, Shadowstar, I know. Is the lone mallard still alive? What lone mallard? I'm thinking I have to get my day underway, guys. Is it's 48 minutes I've been talking to you guys and I have to get my, my uh, I gotta get my, uh, my internet stuff done. Gotta get breakfast into me and we gotta let the ducks out. That's what's happening here. So I gotta go. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the show on the road because we gotta let the ducks out. That's what's gonna happen here, okay? Am I sitting with the ducks today? Nope. I'm letting the ducks out. Wake up, Doug. Yeah, you know, he's he's right now. He's quite. Uh, uh, he's actually doing some twitching right now. He's in deep sleep. You're off grid until till mum day. Okay, Tom. Enjoy your off grid time. I'll be chatting to you when you get back online. I'm gonna go have my breakfast, guys. 
and get the day underway here because I'm, I'm officially now 50 minutes behind. And I'm, I'm, uh, I've, I've subjected you guys to enough grumpiness today. I'm going to have a gun with me today, but I got things to do around the property. Uh, the ducks are getting out. I'm going to be running around doing camera stuff. I got to fix the garbage cans. I got things to do, but I am going to have weapons hanging everywhere. And I'm, but I'm thinking our problem today is not going to be a coyote. If anything, it'll be a fox. That's what I think is going to happen. I think it's going to be a fox. GoFundMe status? I'm way behind. I need to update it so bad. I need to sit down with my checkbook and figure out all the money I've spent and compare it to what I've collected on the GoFundMe. But that is like, I got to sit down and do it. <laughs> That's the problem. And I just, as you know, I'm a little bit tapped for time. Um... I, I just don't have the time. I'm, I'm, I'm scrambling. So basically what's happening right now is I'm floating the boat personally and I'm just, I'm not talking about it uh, because I don't want to, I don't want to be, uh, I don't, I don't like talking about money guys. I don't, I, I just don't. I'm, uh, it ruins the show. People get upset when I talk about the money aspect of the, of the GoFundMe. That's, that's, that, that's, I'm being honest. Actually, I had somebody contact me about that, and I, I don't... Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down, and uh, I'm going to uh, do my checkbook, figure out the money, uh, what I've spent, and uh, then I'm going to uh, update the GoFundMe page, and then uh, I'll, I'll do a video, and, and that will get the customary thumbs down, and uh, because I'm talking about money, and that all the GoFundMe money is secretly to fund my holiday to go to Columbia and the ducks is just all smoke and mirrors here. It's not really happening. It's all CGI uh, because this is an elaborate scam for me to uh, to siphon off $24,000 to go on a holiday. That's basically it. So I'm... Uh, <laughs> and there are people out there that believe this stuff. Um, but we're, 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 I'll do that. I got to do it soon because like I said, guys, I'm even floating the boat myself here. And I'm going to run out of money soon. So uh, we got to get it happening. All right. So I'm going to say goodbye. And uh, uh, the moon landings, my, actually, that was my parents. They were involved in the moon landings. That's where I obtained all this knowledge. So uh, that, that, that's, that's, what, that's, that's how the ducks look so real. <laughs> um, I have years of experience in this. I'm going to say goodbye. And uh, we're gonna. I'm hopefully gonna have some good things for you today. Uh, you know, maybe uh, there's a good chance I'm gonna do some GoPro on the head thing too. We're gonna play some technology stuff. You know, the the Duck Adventures high tech this year. So there's gonna be something that happens. So I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you go, and so I can get my day underway, so we can get the ducks out because it's gonna be a long day. And actually, that's why I'm not in a rush to start outside because once I let these ducks out. The CGI won't turn off until the sun sets. As you know, last night it was dark. Like the ducks will stay out right till the end of the day. So whatever day I, that's why I'm not in a rush, crazy, crazy to start early because my day won't end outside till quarter to ten, basically, because that's when the ducks decide it's time to go in. So if they get outside for twelve hours running around, that's good enough for my books uh, because I'm going to be outside running around for twelve hours. All right, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you very much for the 87 thumbs up. Thank you for putting up with my grumpiness this morning. Uh, I'm not grumpy now because I've had my two cups of coffee. I'm wide awake, so I'm good to go. And I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to go start my day. Have, I'll see you. You'll see me shortly.